Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Lisa. I hope you're all well and having a fantastic day so far. Today, I will be making some Guyanese-style bunje or bunjal lamb. I've already washed the lamb and seasoned it and I've left it to marinate in my fridge overnight. Here are some more ingredients you'll need for today's recipe. And please check in the description box below this video for all the ingredients and measurements. If you do not eat lamb, you can make this with chicken, beef, pork, any protein you like. The first thing I'm going to do is burn out all that rank water from this meat. So in my pot, I've added some oil and I'm just going to let this meat cook in there and it's going to release its own natural juices and then I'm just going to let that juice evaporate before I continue with the cooking process. While this is doing its thing, I would like to take this moment to say a big, big thank you to some more of my loyal supporters. So the first person is my good friend Lucy, who is always watching and commenting on my videos. Also my brother here, thank you guys so much for your wonderful support towards my channel. I am so blessed to have you guys in my life. Okay guys, at this point, all the water has dried out from the meat. So I'm going to remove it. And next step is that I'm going to fry some onions. The onions does give this dish a really nice flavor. So if you haven't tried cooking it this way, you might want to do so. Let the onions cook for about 4 minutes or so. Then I'm adding in my curry paste. And I'm going to let this curry paste cook for about 5 minutes. Please make sure that you stir it continuously so that it does not burn. And if you find that it's too dry, you can add a bit of water in there to prevent it from burning. In goes my lamb. I'm going to let this now cook for about 10 minutes with the seasonings. Alrighty. At this point, I'm adding some water and I'm adding enough hot water to cover the meat because I want the meat to be super tender where it's going to fall off the bone. And I added some more green seasoning. Please feel free to add whatever seasonings you like to your dish. I let that cook for a while before I added in my potatoes. I'm going to cover this and let it cook again until that meat is super tender where it will fall off the bone and look like this. This is all done. I'm garnishing with some green onions and it is ready to be served. I will be having this dish with some dal and rice today. What would you have this with? Maybe some roti? That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you will give this recipe a try soon and if you do, please leave a comment for me below this video so that I know how it turns out for you. And thank you guys for trying my recipes and telling me how they turn out. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Have a great day. Remember that Jesus loves you and may God bless you. Bye!